What's up guys and Mr. D Skillet. I'm gonna be showing you how to install one of the cooler mods in my opinion, which is 303 Arrows mod. So first you're gonna wanna go here. I'll put the link on the screen right now. Hit 303 Arrows. It's gonna bring you down here. You're gonna wanna scroll down. You're gonna wanna hit download 303 Arrows. You're gonna wanna come back to this page. Um, I've already downloaded both of those. You're gonna go to this link which it's going to take you just like this you're going to want to scroll down a little you're going to want to the GUI API point nine point five click on it it's going to bring you down here you hit the main download button it's going to be a dot zip file you unzip it watch my first video for more instructions on that you're going to open up your Minecraft folder, which I've done three times now, so if you still need help, you're kind of behind. So you open up Minecraft, you go down to bin and minecraft.jar, so mine's already opened up. You're going to want to show the GUI AP10. Um, I already have it downloaded like two times, maybe three even. You're going to want to see there's all this stuff, and you take it, all of it, every single thing. Make sure you don't copy the actual folder put everything inside of it and then once you've got all of that you're going to want to paste that into this folder and replace and then you've got that part done and then you're going to want to open up 303 arrows it's going to be just like this and then it's got all of these you copy everything except the arrows folder and the original folder. So you copy that. You also put it into the minecraft.jar. Um, this is expecting. You've already watched my first video. So again, if you haven't, I'll put a link up right now. Then you're going to want to open up the arrows folder. Um, you're going to want to select all of these PNG files and copy them. Then you're going to want to open up minecraft.jar folder. You're going to want to scroll down to... Oh, just kidding. I probably totally threw you off there. You're going to actually want to copy this whole folder. I'm sorry, guys. Um, then you're going to want to paste that whole folder into minecraft.jar. Once that folder is pasted, open up Minecraft. After you quit it, you need to restart it or else the mod won't work. It's going to do its same little thing. Open up your world. Do, 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 do. All right. And then you've got your world. Um, I'm just going to mod here real quick with another mod I already have. If you haven't seen it, uh, I've got a video on it. I'll put it up right now. Uh, you can mod to get these arrows too. So I'll just demonstrate all these. So um, I just made one of every arrow. And now I'm going to make a bow. And then for these, you just hit Options, Mod Settings, 303 Arrows. I'm going to do Cycle Left, and then you click on it, select what you want to do to Cycle Left, Cycle Right, you hit Right. So, pretty basic. If you can't figure that out, then you kind of fail. Then you're going to go to your arrow, and then you can cycle through uh, with the left and right button. So, when you shoot, that's expensive. <laughs> left mob arrow so it spawns any random mob um oh shoot boss um okay that was so here's the fire arrow which is pretty cool if you shoot an animal it'll light in on fire ice arrow so if there's water that's not already like infested with ice so I just use explosive arrow to get rid of that ice, ice arrow Freezes it right up. Um, I don't like how the arrow curves. There's a fix for that too. Options, mod settings, 303 arrows. Curvature, just put it on zero. Then you can go back to done. You go to slime arrow. It'll spawn a slime. Now that I've got no curvature, pretty cool. Torch arrow. It lights them on fire if you shoot them. If not, it puts a torch down. Three health um, next arrow, dirt arrow. This arrow is crazy. It's probably one of my favorite arrows. And it seems kind of lame in the beginning, 
because it spawns one piece of dirt. So that's pretty awesome, right? One piece of dirt. Uh, options, mod settings, 303 arrows. Scroll down to dirt arrow. Block ID. So you can change that to whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to do any block ID. I don't know what they are. Solid, I'm going to do false. And mode, I'm going to do sphere. So by changing the block ID, it changes what it actually pops up or what it spawns so it doesn't have to be dirt so I did coal and I did spear or sphere and then I didn't change its radius though so it's still zero so if I do you can go up to 50 but I don't want to click 50 times and then you can spawn like that huge coal and then it's hollow if you want to break inside so that's it. See you guys.